Welcome to First Word Farmers News Roundup for January the 2nd, brought to you today by Senior Editor Matt Dennis. Today's First Word Farmer News Roundup is sponsored by Sedgedeem. In our top news story, Novartis completed the sale of its animal health unit to Eli Lilly on January the 1st for approximately $5.4 billion in cash. This deal is part of a number of transactions that will see Novartis focus on its three core businesses of innovative pharmaceuticals, eye care and generics. Also featured, the FDA approved 41 new medicines in 2014, 14 more than in the prior year and the highest level in 18 years. The European Medicines Agency, which includes generic drugs in its list, recommended 82 medicines last year, up from 79 in 2013 and 57 in 2012. In other news, the National Institute for Health and Care Excellence recommended against NHS reimbursement of cell genes of Braxane for previously untreated metastatic pancreatic cancer. The agency said the drug's limited benefits compared to current treatments do not justify its cost. In addition, India's patent office revoked a patent on Roche's osteoporosis drug Bonviva following a post-grant opposition filed by CIPLA. The decision was taken after the Intellectual Property Appellate Board referred the issue back to the Patent Office, setting aside the latter's previous order. And finally, Johnson & Johnson and Gilead Sciences expanded previous deals to include two single-tablet regimens for HIV containing the latter's tenofovir alefenamide. Both companies noted that the nucleotide reverse transcriptase inhibitor has been shown to have a better renal and bone safety profile than Gilead's Viriad. To read these and other stories in full, visit firstwordpharma.com. Take a look at us now, the new mobile intelligence. Performing better together.